I promise we're gonna be doing some story stuff today. I'll go back to Minish Cap. But first, amiibos. I did more amiibo hunting, and I got Vadi now. I also got, um, a few more of them. I got lots and lots of copies, and every time you get a copy, you get like five rupees. But I got a lot of Gormans, a lot of, um, stock whales. I got the Krennel Hermit. It says he has lots of kinstone pieces, but I went back to check on him. He has no kinstone pieces. He's either bugged out or he picks up all of the random kinstones that you don't find anywhere else. Like a tingle. He also got the three goddesses. Neighbor, Fairer, and Din. Eh, she's a famous dancer, is she? But we're gonna have to find housing for her. I got Gentari, the Elder. I got, uh... I got other things, too. Like, I guess these are all... Yeah, these are all old ones. The Peaceful Hyrule series. And I'm at, like, 20% now. So, I, I just stopped. I got the Ghost Guy. I got Eni and Meenie, the Goron Merchant. And then a bunch of enemies, like a uh, business scrub. He wants to take your money. The Keatons. And I think I got the Moblin somewhere on this list too. But I, I got lots of Amiibos. I'm like Amiibo happy right now. But yeah, I went back to uh, Krennel Mountain. And I went to those terrible places that we saw before. And I pretty much looted the, uh, the things already. I mean, the Beanstalk's gonna stay there, but I got the water thing that the... Uh, Everlasting Rainfall chest, and uh, there's a chest down here next to that green spring. They both had blue kinstones in them, which kind of irritates me. Also, uh, Alan Zurian, that um, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, he told me why I'm having problems with Minish Cap. Minish Cap natively runs at like 30 frames a second, and I'm forcing it to run at 60. So, all that jitteriness that's in the game. It's actually supposed to be in the game. It's supposed to run at only, like, 30. And I'm forcing it to do double that. I don't really care too much about making it run at 30, because I do get some smoothness, which is good. Oh, and I forgot to do the poet, didn't I? Yeah, I got the poet over here. I have a red kinstone for him. His looks like his! But you lost it in an inn. I found it somewhere else, and then I found his cousins. There you go. I wonder what will happen with him. He's been waiting long enough for this thing. Probably wrote some new poetry by now. That, I think, is along the way to where we're going, too. So let's go ahead and check out what's behind there. It looks like his house! Hey, congratulations! You can go home now! And here's some poetry for you! Yep, that's some poetry, alright. He's talking about Kinstone Fusion, if you don't know your poetry correctly. Actually, I got an E in Shakespeare during college. Kinda missed out my GPA. I shouldn't have really done that. I should have backed out when I had the chance, but no. Also, my college professor had issues with my English professor, so that probably didn't help matters enough. I mentioned who my professor was, and then he was just, like, angry. All the time. Whenever I came into his office. So, yeah. Choose your professors wisely! Oh, what's your problem now, poet? You don't have a fusion for me. Oh, uh, you have a new poetry for me. Okay, go ahead. I'm not gonna understand it, I'm just gonna pretend that I understand it. Wait, wait, that's not poetry, you're just telling me things. Oh, okay, here comes the poetry. So there's somebody in your house, is what I'm assuming from that. Well, this is Percy's house. And there's a woman in here. I, I can't see you too well, though. The lights are off. Looks like I'm gonna need something that makes light before I could solve that. Well, you're just gonna have to live outside or move back to that old house you had. Oh well. I need to continue with some story stuff. We haven't done story in a while. Which kind of upsets me. Also, I have an amiibo for bow moblins. And we really haven't seen one until, like, right then. Yeah, he was just off-screen. He wasn't gonna shoot at us, though, because it's unfair. Oh, maybe I killed that one, and I just didn't think it was a bow. Instead, it was some kind of other thing. Did I shrink here? It looks like I, I need to shrink here. Actually, I don't think this is the way to the Caster Wilds at all. No, I'm far south. Oh, let's get some fusions out of the way, why the heck not? 
I think this is the place where you can fuse and get another beanstalk. So I'm sequence breaking again. Yeah, there's a bean by your house. So did another Minish, but um... You don't have a fusion for it either. False advertising! The bean is right there. You can see it. And I don't have the fusion for it just yet. Another character owns that. Maybe it's the Minish that lives in uh, that Eastern Plains area by my house. Who knows? Also, this hasn't opened up yet either. I'm hoping to open up that soon. Don't forget your Pegasus boots! I got Pegasus boots. I also have roll attacks. There's lots of downed trees in that area. Lots of secrets to uphold. But welcome to the Caster Wilds, finally. It's not very wild in here, if you ask me. It's more like Caster Marsh. It's very marshy. Now we can run across the swamps using our Pegasus boots. And if we're not running, we'll sink into the marsh. Don't do that. And this is our first rope of the game. Those golden ones don't count. That is the first rope. And we're gonna get some uh, deep darkness music going on in Zelda to in in the Zelda form. So we're gonna enjoy that a little bit too. But this place is like a uh, really big and confusing. You're gonna be spending a lot of time just idling around in here if you don't have like a guide or a walkthrough or you haven't played the game before. Because it's just like stuff all over the place and there's plateaus and you get confused real easy. Me, I'm just gonna murder things and hope they make sense, because I didn't open my notebook. I'm pl flying blind right now, I really should have opened that thing up. I don't want to now, because it's gonna mess with the recording. I don't want that. Just gonna murder snakes. I'm wearing green, and I'm murdering snakes. Link is doing his best La Meza impression right now. I think we have to be in here. Yes, because it's chest, though. That's not chest. Well, welcome to Dark Nuts. They're here, and they're ready to murder you. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna run through you. And, uh... Well, the rolling step doesn't seem to work. But running into them? That works. You can even run right past the sword. Ah, stop blocking it. I want to stab you. I want to stab you while running. Ah. Well, this guy's a good swordsman. I can't, I can't abide by this. I'm the only swordsman around here. Ah, I can do that, too. I can stop my run at any time and stab him with it. And it's a golden kinstone piece. It's a golden kinstone piece. Why don't I just sell this then? Look at that. Looks like each of the golden kinstone pieces have their own special slot in my bag. I think there's only like three in the entire game. They're used for something. That's why I collect them. Also, you notice I have a lot less rupees, because I went back and bought more red, blue, and green kinstone pieces from the mer merchant. I, uh, I bought some cake to see if I could get some red uh, kinstones out of it. Didn't go so well. I got a green and a blue. And I forget where I have to go from here. I think I have to head south. I have to head in that direction. Let's see what's going on over here. Ah, there's another one of those walls and an Armist statue. Yeah, it's glaring at us. We should do something about that. Get out of the way. They ain't gonna do it. We're gonna need something to shoot it in the eye with. Like a slingshot or something like that. Sadly, no such item exists in Zelda. Not at all. I think I have to go down in this direction. I'm gonna have to run across more swamps, I bet. Nope, that's... That, this is what I say about it being a maze. You think you're going somewhere, and then nope, you're not going anywhere. You're going right into the swamp. Definitely can't swim in water yet, either. Oh look, a Minish puzzle! Now how am I going to Minish myself over to here, over to that hole? I guess I really don't do that yet. I'm gonna have to learn to swim or something. Or run really fast while Minish size. Pretty sure this has something to do with something. I say this without previous knowledge of the game, or uh, without taking like a half a week break off of this game. I do remember I could do this and make myself move relatively quickly until I hit things. Stupid flowers always getting in the way. So this is going to take a little while. You know what, how about I just give myself a Mega Thrust? I'll take that in the gutter, please. Okay, that didn't help in the least. And now I drowned! Why? Because the lily pad bounced away from the shore. 
Take that, Link. You can't move, like, two inches in water. Get out of here! You guys are guarding treasure, and I don't like it. Even the danger music is playing. I wish I could charge my spin attack faster, but I can't do that. So it's kind of useless to me. I liked it in Link's Awakening where I could jump in midair and then do a spin attack, because I could be mobile while I do it. It's the bow! Now we can shoot things! I only really have four items left this entire game. I wonder what they'll be. But that one side quest that I did involving Ghost Guy has an upgrade version of the bow. So we're gonna need that. And we're gonna have to do this junk again now. Why? Just teleport me out! I got the bow! I got the cool thing! I'm gonna run into that. Yeah, I'm gonna run into that again. A little awkward doing the lily pad pushing in this game. Alright, can I go... I could go around that. Let me go around that. And therefore I drown myself. That's a puzzle that's like... Two feet too long. I, I could have tolerated like two of those lily pad things, but no. You needed a third. Also, they're not even in the right place, because it goes blue, red, yellow, and this is yellow, blue, red. Yeah. I see that. I see what you're doing there, Nintendo. You're being lazy. That's what you're doing there. Well, at least I got the bow now. And I tried not to drown, and I succeeded in it. Now we can find arrows in the grass as well. And that allows us to get these Armos guys out of the way by shooting them in the eye. Like this. Oh, we have to shoot them twice in the eye. Because they get upset when you do that. Three times in the eye. Four times in the eye. Where are you going? Hey, come back here. I can't shoot you in the back eye. Four times in the eye. That's how you solve them. Just keep on shooting them till they die. That's usually how it works. That's FPS logic right there. So there's absolutely no point for me to be up here besides cutting grass. I'm doing their landscaping. Take that. Isn't there another Armus guy over here? I bet he leads somewhere. I have to go up first, though. Music is great. I kind of don't like the area too much. It's a little bit convoluted. It's a little bit of a giant labyrinth maze thing. And I'm going to have to equip the boots right after this. Ah, why don't you recoil when I hit you with an arrow? No, you have to be made out of stone. You have to be resistant or something. Now, I really don't want to use to keep on switching to the boots whenever I need them. I think there might be a little uh, shortcut around here, too, somewhere. I had a yawn and a burp at the same time. That wasn't pleasant. Yeah, I think it might be down this way? No. I know there's some holes around here you have to shove rocks into. Oh, that was close. I almost sank in the mire there. From my own hubris. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. I think I might be going out of order. That's another golden kinstone piece for us. I think that was number three, though. I think I'm missing the, the second one somewhere. It's gotta be in this march somewhere. If not, I'm gonna have to pause it and look at my notes. Oh, there it is. There's the rock for the shortcut. So that part's out of the way. I don't need to go over in that area anymore, I don't think. I think I have to head southwest now. There's some parts around here that I haven't discovered. I think that's how I got, got up on this plateau to begin with. I'm gonna go on over here. And kill this guy again. Alright, get on over here. I have an arrow for you. You guys are not very intelligent, are you? Come over here. Down this way. Thank you. Now run into arrows until you die. Like, you should learn how to shoot faster than that, or at least slow down time when you do it. Your ancestor is able to do that just fine. He could do that from horseback. By using a paraglider. Oh, it was just a blue kinstone piece, so I feel ripped up. Ah, get off me! Get off me, you jerks! Ah! Oh no! It's a rupee gangbang! Stop eating my rupees! Ah! I want that! Give me that! Why don't you eat that instead? You don't need to be squeezing me. Ridiculous! I lost rupees because of that. You all saw it, right? Those guys were not there beforehand. They appeared after I got the kinstone piece. That was kind of a jerk move, wasn't it? I was thinking, yay! Free rupees! Oh, wait. No, they're not supposed to be like that. 
and then it was too late. I became the rupee meal. I think I need to be over in this direction. Let me check my map for a detailed look. Yeah, there's a gravestone over there. We were up in the northeast portion. So we need to go down that way. Let's check out what that gravestone is all about. I bet it's something secret. Something amazing. Something I can't do just yet, but we're gonna look at it anyway. Just push this open? Because it's a regular Zelda puzzle, you push open graveyards. No, that's not questionable. I mean, there is a ghost down here, but there's also a heart piece. Thank you! That is my heart piece now, you can't have it. Also, what's your name, buddy? He's the Ghost Swordsman of Hyrule! Swiftblade the First, Spirit of the Swordsman! That's the two dollar name you got going on there. He could train me things that are out of this world, but I'm not ready to train him just yet. He won't teach me until I have the rest of the Tiger Scrolls. I only have like three or four, I think, right now. How many do I got? Four. So I need to collect three more somewhere out in the world. Probably has to do with that guy that's living in darkness. But I don't have things to light it up with yet. Not even fire arrows. Now, I'm supposed to be over here. I gotta do things with these tiki statues. But I don't have that other kinstone piece yet. It must be off in this direction. And it's another Windcrest. We're gonna be getting an item very soon that'll allow us to use these Windcrests. And then I can get some more side quests done in a much quicker fashion. The first kill snake. And then we could get the final ki the golden kinstone. I know my way around now. It's off in that direction. I'm gonna be pushing that rock eventually. Ah. Why does Link fire the bow so slowly? Even the arrows move slow. It's like everything has bullet time but Link. And it's a little backwards. I hope he works on that a little bit. I hope there's like a shoot bow faster ability that I get. Because that's really cumbersome. Ah, Game Boy Advance. They can't do everything right, I guess. Now we got a parachute all the way down here. And I, do, I think there's other places I need to parachute to, too. I'm remembering more parachuting going on here. Oh well, shortcut. And cave! With the final Golden Kinstone piece! Now we can open up those Tiki statues. We're gonna have to fuse with them using the Golden Kinstones. But... Right now, Murder Snake. Also, it's uh, like 18 minutes, so uh, I'm gonna run my way over there and we'll wait till next time. I'll do more fusions with these things. You can even fuse at inanimate objects in this game. See? He's thinking. He's wondering why is this kid wearing green in front of me? Well, we'll find out next time. Good night, folks.